Hey guys, in this class, I'm going to teach you how to set up a staging and production environment inside Lovable that you can use whenever you're vibe coding in whatever AI tool you're using. Let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're inside the whiteboard and I just want to quickly explain this concept to you. First of all, we have what's called production. And this is where we always have our latest and tested changes that our users can access and utilize. Secondly, we have what's called staging. And this is where we have our latest untested changes that we've been working on in preparation for our next release. Finally, we have a feature branch where a developer like myself or somebody on my team might be doing a piece of work that adds something to the app. In this case, we'll also say that it's a new code change. What might happen here is once that developer is done, they'll put a pull request into their project and ask for their changes to be merged into staging. We might have multiple developers doing this at any given time, but by ensuring they're working on things feature by feature, even for your own practice as well, you can work a lot easier with more than one person on the code base as you just edit the things you need to edit without touching other people's code. In this case, I can now see the area things merging into staging. And what I would do here as a manager or a project manager would be to just QA that staging. I would go through and I make sure that I'm happy with all the features. I've tested all the app functionality. And then once I've done that and I'm ready for it to be released, I or someone on my team will merge it into production and we'll then release all of those new changes to our users. It's a really easy process, it's quite important when you want to make sure that a that you're working on isn't being shown to users as unfinished features. So let's jump into Lovable and I'll show you how to set this up. Now that we're inside Lovable, I just created a completely black project. I asked for it to create a white here and nothing else. So we're not really working a lot here at the moment, but let's change it up. I'm gonna to come to the top right and click connect to GitHub. And what I wanna do here is just connect to project. I've already connected my account, but if you haven't, it's really easy to do so within a few clicks, you can add it. And I'm gonna make sure I transfer that project to my GitHub account. Once that's done, I'm gonna open this up and click on view on GitHub. And you're more than welcome to do this inside Lovable, but I prefer to do it here just cause it's a little bit faster. I need to make some new branches. So if you think of main, that's always gonna be our production environment. That's the branch where all of our users are gonna see the latest changes. We're also gonna to wanna to create our staging branch. And I'll do that here and create a copy of, of main and that now becomes staging. Once that's done, I can then jump back into Lovable. And as you can see here, I've got my GitHub setup. If you don't have it, you can go to labs and switch it on. It's pretty easy to do. And then we'll come back here and we'll just select now that new staging branch that we made. So whenever you're making new changes, making new branches, you're probably always gonna wanna clone from staging as that's gonna have all the latest like in progress work inside it. Now that I'm inside staging, I'm gonna create my new branch. So in this case, let's say I'm gonna work on the hero. So we got hero, Harry, edit. There's some great tools like Linear that can give you the names uh, for your branches uh, and they could quite bite well to projects like this. Amazing. And then what I'm gonna do is just do a little bit of work. So we're gonna do something fun here. Add p5.js to the hero and 8-bit pixel background effects. And we will wait for the prompt to run. So I'll see you on the other side. When you look at that, guys, this is like two prompts, I promise. It got us to this like nice little effect. I mean, it's not perfect, but it does the job. And I like the colors that it's used as well. In this case, I would say that we finished our feature. And now what we want to do is merge it into staging so that all of our other teammates or ourselves can test it. And then after that, we're going to release it to our users. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to come back to our GitHub and we're going to find the branch that I've been doing that work on. Now, if it doesn't appear in the list, you might need to go back and just look at your branches again. Here I am with Hero Harry Edit. What I'm going to do here is click, click Contribute and you can see that this branch is five edits ahead of the main branch, meaning that we've done some work and we're now ahead of our production environment. But what I'm gonna do is instead of merging it into main, I'm gonna merge it into staging. Now I might add a description of what I did here to help out anybody who's gonna review this. And then I'll create that pull request. GitHub's are gonna run through and check if there's any merge conflicts. And in this case, there isn't. Now, if you do have conflicts in the future, this is probably because you did way too much work inside your feature branch. And you should have just kept it to a smaller feature, smaller edit, merged it and then got again from there. For me particularly, I do this when I'm like splitting pages, for example, and I'll just work on like individual pages for individual branches. So our pull request has been merged, meaning that on staging now, we should have the same changes. And what we can do 
To prove that is just go to Lovable. I'm gonna to come to our GitHub page and then you can see here my branch. I'll just switch back to staging. And what we should see is that none of our changes have changed. There we go, cool. And if we switch to main, we should see that we don't have our latest changes on there. Perfect, so if you pretend this is production, right? Our users can't see our new feature. This is still the version that they're seeing now. In order to publish this uh, and actually have it up and running, I would just come to publish in the top right and then hit publish in the bottom here and we can push our main branch. That means we're up and go. But then as well as that, we can come to Versal. So I'm inside Versal and you can see pretty easily what it does. It's a great little hosting tool for putting up your projects and having some fast infrastructure, be able to run it and look after it. Make sure you to watch your bill. There's a bit of a meme on Twitter sometimes of people getting overcharged. So what I'll do here is I'll click in the top right, add new project. And I wanna make sure that I select that GitHub repo that we made. Now, if you've forgotten the name, come back to your lovable project and you can see in the top left here at the moment, it says Untamed Foundation. So we're going to make sure we select that GitHub and we're going to import it. Once that's done, I'm going to deploy and you can see here that selected our main branch to deploy from, which is cool because now whenever we merge into main, it's going to auto deploy it for us. So I'll wait for this to build and then let's see what we can do. So you can see our project's being deployed, still using our old version, which is good. And we also get something called instant previews, which I'll show you in a moment. We can also add domains and buy domains. I'm not gonna go through domains with you guys on this one because I think it's pretty easy. But if you'd like a video, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make one. Okay, now that we're inside, you can see here that our project's deployed. And if I go to deployments, we can see that it took the latest changes from main and deployed that for us. Just like Lovable, there is a link as well that we can click to go and visit that. And you can see here it's been deployed on the vessel domain for us just for testing in this case. All right, so let's go back to our GitHub and pull requests and let's do another pull request. So this time I'm gonna do compare and pull requests, but from staging to main, and you remember that we added all of those different features to our staging. By this time we wanted to test it that branch as well. And then once we're confident with that, we can hit create pull request. So I'm gonna do that here. I could add a description as well of all the features that we added, but you can see from commits, the different things that were done as well. Let's create the pull request. And now because we've connected it to Vessel, it's actually gonna do something quite cool. Not only is it going to put it for a check, but it's going to deploy a preview of staging for us, which is really useful because I can open up this link, double check the word that's about to be released to our users and catch any of those last minute bugs that might have crept in whilst we were thinking about deploying. Now that the build has completed, you can see here that I can just click preview and that's going to open up a preview version. It's separate to the version that we have deployed for our users, but as you can see, it contains all of the latest changes that we had in our staging environment. So I checked through this, click some buttons, mess with the effects, happy that it looks good to merge. So what I'm going to do now is go back to GitHub. And as long as there's no conflicts, which there shouldn't be in this case, we're gonna hit merge pull request and hit confirm merge. Going into our building process and how that's then deployed to our end user, well, you remember Versal is committed to deploying on every single commit to main. So when we merge something from staging into main, it's always going to auto build, meaning that our production version will always be up to date and released to users instantly once we're happy with the changes. Now that that's been deployed, I can go back, hit visit, and you can see now our Versal production version has our latest changes. So to summarize and go over that, if you guys got a little bit lost, it's doing feature branches, which you merge into staging. And then at some point, once you've got a few features in there, you're gonna test staging and then merge it into production. And depending on which hosting environment you go with, you will even need to go inside Lovable to publish it or just allow Vessel to auto deploy from GitHub. If you want to watch another video, here's one about the business side of running a lovable agency. There's a wrap! <laughs>